A creed P of mass 1.25 kg is connected to another creed Q of mass 2 kg uh, by a light string. The two creeds are placed on a rough horizontal surface, uh, so we know that uh, there's some friction there. And then a constant force F of magnitude 7.5 newtons acting at an angle theta to the horizontal is applied on creed Q. Clearly, right? The, the sketch uh, demonstrates that. And then the creeds accelerate at uh, 0 0.1 meters per second squared to the right and then creed p experiences a constant frictional force of 1.8 and creed q experiences a constant frictional force of 2.2 newton and then the first question 2.1 uh state newton's second law of motion in words right i'm definitely not going to do that and then uh 2.2 uh, let's draw a labeled free body diagram for creed p right so let's pay our attention to creed p now so creed p is connected to creed q by a string right so there must be tension on creed p uh, moving to that direction right and then because creed p is lying on a surface we must have uh, a normal force right uh, but they're not only a normal force but even uh, the gravitational force right so we should have fg and the normal force there uh, and then uh, we are also told that there's frictional force so let's have a force opposing the motion right so let's have effort there why is the vector for the frictional force shorter than the vector for the tension right uh, it is shorter because the crease are accelerating to the right right so the tension uh the force of the tension is overpowering uh, that force of due to the friction, right? So we must show that on our length of the vectors. I don't know if uh, the examiner, the examiner. I don't know if the examiners are going to penalize you if uh, your FR is not less than the tension force. But yeah, it's supposed to be less than the tension force because they are moving to the right. Uh, with, we know that they're moving to the right because of that acceleration of 0 0.1. Anyway, story is 2.1, uh, 2.3, I meant 2.3.1. Let's calculate the magnitude of the tension in the string, right? So we want the magnitude of the tension in the string. In 2.2, we were asked to lab to draw a labeled free body diagram for creed P, right? So let's try finding the tension in the string for by using creed P. If we cannot use creed P alone, then we will resort uh, to also using create Q. So let's try here and see what happens. Uh, so we're going to say for P, right? And we underline it. Why are we doing that, right? It's for the sake of clarity. We're not all over the show. We're showing the examiner that we know exactly what we're talking about. So yeah, let's see what happens. So obviously we have F net equals to MA being the second law of uh, motion right so with that with the bigger force and then we subtract all the opposing smaller forces right so here we've already established that um the tension is greater than the friction right so we must have tension minus all the smaller forces we only have friction opposing right so minus fr being equals to you uh ma right we're only considering the forces along uh, the horizontal and not the vertical right so when i have tension minus so the frictional force that x on creed p is given to us is 1.8 so this will be equals to the mass which is 1.25 multiplied by the acceleration which is 0 0.1 so now the tension is going to be 1.25 multiplied by 0 0.1 plus 1.8 and that should be equals to 1.925 newtons right and just like that uh, we have the magnitude of the tension and now let's uh conclude the magnitude of the angle theta so the angle theta has to do with uh, our create q right so now again q we underline for the sake of clarity and we say that f net is equals to ma right we live in the examiner with no doubt so again uh so for creed q we're gonna need a free body diagram first before we do this right um so for creed q i'm just gonna draw it here right uh we have the force acting at an angle right and then uh we have the normal obviously and then we have fg and then we have tension acting 
and then we also have frictional force, right? So if we compute that, we're gonna have uh, so we on the horizontal axis, ne? We're on the horizontal axis. Since it's on the we on the horizontal axis, uh, we're gonna resolve f along the horizontal. If one <laughs> resolve f along the horizontal on a flat surface, we see f cos of theta and then we subtract all the smaller forces so minus tension minus friction shall be equals to ma so what is f we know fully well that f is 7.5 and then cos of theta uh, what is the tension the tension we calculated it in 2.3.1 right so here we're going to have 1.925 and then uh, for the frictional force is given to us as 2.2 and this will be equals to the mass of 2 kgs multiplied by the acceleration which is 0 0.1 uh, so 7.5 cos of theta will be equals to 2 multiplied by 0 0.1 plus 1.925 plus 2.2 right uh, we make in a uh, cost of theta the subject to the formula so now it should be easy to see that uh, theta will be equals to cos arc of uh, 2 multiplied by 0 0.1 uh, plus 1.925 plus 2.2 uh, everything divided by uh, 7.5 obviously this is more messy right uh, it will be more clean if you uh, put this in your calculator first but yeah I'm just gonna do <laughs> what I feel like doing so theta should be equals to 51.93 uh, uh, degrees right and that's how we solve uh, that problem there